Hello, good morning, happy Friday, everybody. You made it for your through your first week of first grade, virtual first grade. It was only four days, so it wasn't a full week, but nonetheless, that is a great accomplishment. Nice job, everyone. And I've been so impressed with how many people have been troubleshooting, getting online, getting on all the websites, learning how to submit pictures and use Class Dojo. So give yourself a little pat on the back for all of your hard work this week. Um, we have one more day's worth of virtual learning to do today, then you have the weekend. So um, let's talk about our calendar, and then we'll talk about our day a little bit, and I will show you your fun project that you're going to get to do today. So yesterday was the 10th of September. So if yesterday was the 10th, what number comes after the 10th? 11, right? So we're going to put the number 11 on our calendar. And what day of the week did I put number 11 under? It's a hard to see from where you're at, but it starts with an F. It's the only day of the week that starts with an F. F, -f, 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 -f. Friday. Yeah, so today is Friday. We are in the month of September, like I just said. It is the year 2020 or 2020. We're in the season of summer. Okay. And so the way that we say our date is Friday, September 11th, 2020. And we're going to write that right here on our little whiteboard so that we can practice what it looks like to write the date. So September is what you put first when you're writing the date, and we write the number nine to represent the ninth month of the year. Okay, And we just decided today is the 11th day of the month and it is 2020, which is the year. So 9-11-2020, that's the date that we're gonna be writing on our paper today. All right, and what's the weather outside, you guys? What do you notice? Kind of strange today. It seems really cloudy. Um, you might have noticed if you looked outside, it seems really cloudy, kind of hazy, kind of a strange color in the, in the sky. And that's because there's smoke in the air. It's not actually cloudy, it's smoky out today. And if there weren't so much smoke, it might be a little bit warmer outside, but it's a little bit chillier today than it has been for the last couple of days. So I don't know if I would say that it's hot outside. Um, when I was out there, it didn't really feel hot. Um, and I'm gonna leave sunny because we don't have a smoky sticker to put on here. Um, but I'm gonna put I'm going to change the temperature to warm, okay? Today it's warm. Now you can go outside, you can still wear shorts and t-shirts and, you know, your, your warmer weather clothing, but it just isn't quite as clear and bright and sunny as it has been. And hopefully those forest fires are being contained and taken care of and we are thinking about all of the families and all the children and all the animals out there that maybe lost their homes and hopefully we can do something to help them out, okay? Um, moving right along, I wanna talk about what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna turn you back this way. And today we're not gonna do anything in our um, kissing hand material because we finished that yesterday. So your reading material for today is going to be your all about me materials. So yesterday we took this packet out. It says all about me here at the top. We wrote our name, our age, our grade, our school. We drew a picture of ourselves and some of our favorite things. Then we turned the page and we did a little bit more talking about our name, how many letters it has, what the first letter is, the last letter. We circled all the letters in our first name. So today, what I want you to do is turn to this page, name sorting. Okay, behind this page is a page of letters. You can actually pull this page right out of your packet. It's free! Put it off to the side and turn back to this page. Okay. And what you're going to do is write your name right up here at the top. So, anybody remember my name? Paul. Paul starts with a p, p, p which is a P. P A U L. P A U L. All right? 
Then, so I've got my name written right there next to the word name. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to find all the letters in my name. And you know what? I've got a handy dandy highlighter here. So I'm going to highlight the letters that are in my name. P A U and L. That just makes it easier to see which letters I'm going to cut out. Look how pretty pink those are. So I'm going to cut those out. Do do do. Okay. Don't throw away the other letters because you're going to do something with those. The first thing you want to do is cut out the letters in your first name. If you want to go the extra mile and do a little bit of an extra challenge, you can highlight and cut out all the, all the letters of your first and last name. All right, so I've got the U cut out, I've got the A cut out, and I've almost got the P and the L. All right, last cut. Okay, so I've got P, A, U, and L. Now in this column right here on your packet, it says letters in my name. So you need a glue stick and you're going to glue the letters that are in your name in that column. They don't have to be in order. Don't worry about that. Okay, P-A-U-L. All the letters in my name are in this column. All the other letters that are not in your name, all these extra letters, you're gonna cut those out too. And those are all gonna go over here. So I'm gonna put the letter Y and Z over there. And there's a lot of letters that are not in my name. So I'm gonna, put these letters pretty tightly close together inside this column so that I don't run out of room, okay? And just keep going across here and down. All right, so I get all those letters put on there. Done with that page. Once you're done with that page, you're gonna turn the page. I know letters. Write your name again at the top. P, A, U, L. Oh, and then cut out the letters, glue the letter that starts each word, print the missing letter, okay? You know what? The letters are right here on the bottom. If you want to skip cutting them out, you can just write them up here. Um, that's perfectly fine, okay? So the word, the picture is a dog. Dog starts with a duh, 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 duh. What makes the duh sound? D, the letter D. Okay. D, dog. Now, if you've used the letter D and you wrote it here, just go ahead and cross it off down at the bottom. Now you know you've used it. Go to the next one. Oh my gosh, that looks like a pumpkin. P -p 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 -p. Pumpkin starts with a P, which is a P sound. Is there a P down here? Oh, there sure is. So write the P here, write the P on the line, and then cross it off, okay? There we go. Cross it off down here. There's only two left, there's two here. So there you go, and you finish that on your own, okay? Then you turn the page, same thing on this page. Kite, lion, rainbow, 
Fox. Using these letters to complete the words, make sure you put your name at the top and the date if you have time. I almost forgot about that. Okay. Today's date is 9-11-2020. So go ahead and write that right up here on the top of your paper. All right. When you finish those things, you are done with your All About Me packet. Okay. If you would like to take a video of yourself just flipping through the pages and sharing it with me, or if you just want to take pictures of each page and post it to the Portfolio tab, if you are posting things to the Portfolio tab, you have to access Class Dojo from a student account. I learned yesterday that parents can't actually see the Portfolio tab from their, if they log in as a parent, it doesn't show up. They have to log in. Parents have to log in as the student. You can only see it from a student account, which is very confusing. I'm a sorry for that. All right, so the fun part of this assignment is your All About Me backpack. So everybody should have received a clear envelope that has these things inside of it. There's a white baggie. There is a green piece of paper. I've already cut mine out and a blue piece of paper, okay? You're gonna need all of those things, a glue stick, a pair of scissors, and a pencil. These are all the supplies that you're gonna need for this project. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to take your green piece of paper and you're gonna fill out all the questions first. You have to fill them out first, okay? So, at the top, right up here, it says number one. My name is... Paul. Use a pencil so that if you make a mistake you can erase it. Okay? I am 36 years old. 36. My favorite food. Oh, that's really hard. I like so many foods. Um, I think pizza is my favorite food. I love um jalapeno and pineapple pizza. So yummy. Okay, so I wrote pizza, P-I-Z-Z-A. Number four, blank is my favorite color. Oh, that's easy, green. G-R-E-E-N. Green is my favorite color. It's calming and it's the color of plants and I love to garden. Number five, my favorite thing to do is Oh my gosh, I like to do so many things. I love to garden, I love to exercise, I love to eat yummy food, I love to ride horses, I love to spend time with my family, I like to read, I like to sleep, I like to watch movies and eat popcorn. I'm gonna put ride horses, I think, because that's what I'm really into right now. I like to ride horses. Ride horses. I do not like. Hmm. I do not like. What don't I like? Oh my goodness. Um. I don't like traffic. <laughs> I don't like sitting in traffic. I do not like traffic. Okay. Traffic. T-R-A-F-F-I-C. And the last one is I am special because. Oh my gosh. Sometimes answering questions about ourselves is the hardest thing to answer. I am special because because I take care of a lavender farm. That's pretty special. I 
also have lots of animals that I care for. I also have lots of students that I care for, lots of family that I care for. So many things. Um, yeah. So once you have that page all filled out, flip it over and put your name right here. And it's going to be upside down, but that's because we're going to fold that part down. Okay. So it'll look like this with your name upside down. All right. Okay. When you're done with that, put this to the side. You're done with your pencil. You can put it back in your pencil box and then pick up your sandwich baggie and your scissors. You are going to cut off the bottom part of your sandwich baggie. Okay. Now don't just go start cutting. You want to make sure you cut off the part that opens here. Okay, don't cut off this, don't cut off this end. You only have one of these. So if you make a mistake, then you don't get to make it. So pay attention and be very, very careful. Cut off the top part of the bag that opens up to the inside, okay? Then you can set that to the side. And let me check my instructions here. Okay, remember all the paper gets recycled, put it in the recycle bin. Take this, and you're going to fold along this line, that dark black line right there. Okay. So it looks like that. So fold the back and top flap. Sorry about the end of the previous video. I got a little bit confused on the instructions. Even though I've done this before. <laughs> Um, recording myself doing this stuff sometimes adds an extra element that makes things a little confusing. Anyway, so you should be at the point of having opened your bag, you cut the top part off where the hole is, you have your all about you paper completed and folded over the top. Now you're going to take this and see the, see the flat side right over here? you're gonna match this up with the flat side so that the little flap goes over the top like that. Okay, match it up so that the paper bag is perfectly behind. And then you're gonna glue it down. So add some glue and don't put glue on the green part because you don't want to glue the flap down or you won't be able to get inside your backpack. So don't put glue here because you want to be able to open up this. Okay, Just putting glue on the back of this and gluing it to the paper bag. And really rub it on there so that it doesn't come off. Then, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to flip this and you're going to put this right here. Okay, you're going to glue that there. Then you're going to take this little piece, put a tiny bit of glue just at the top, just like that. Okay, can you see that? Just right up here at the top. And then when you glue it on, you're going to glue it right here, and it's going to hang off the back a little bit. So you don't want to put glue here because you don't want it to stick to this. Then you're going to take this guy, this little friend, and that is going to get glued on to the 
back of this. So put a little glue on there and stick it right here. Like that. Okay. Then you're going to cut out these little strips off of the green paper and you're going to fold the end along the black line right there on both sides. Then you're going to put glue on the part that has the words, okay, on both ends. Then on the inside of your backpack, you're going to take this and you're going to glue it in one corner over here at the top and then also in the bottom corner. And if it doesn't stick, then you put a little more glue and hold it down so that it stays stuck. Okay. You can even move this up a little bit so that it sticks out like backpack straps. Okay. Do that same thing to the other side with the other strip. Fold that down, fold this down, put a bunch of glue on there, okay, goes on the other side, and the other side, this glue does not want to stick. Alright, so now you've got two little straps on the back of your backpack. I would let it sit and dry for a few minutes before you do anything with it. Once you have that all glued on, then your backpack is ready to be filled with some of your favorite things. And you just lift up the flap and you can open up this part. See? open it up, and then you can put some of your favorite things in there, like a special rock or a special piece of jewelry or a special note that someone wrote to you, and this will be your favorite things backpack. You're all about me backpack, okay? And when you're done, go ahead and share what you've written and what you have put inside your backpack so that we can all get to know you a little bit better, okay?